shadows. And sometimes we think of shadows, uh, we think of a setting sun and the shadows of trees growing long. Uh, sometimes we think of you know scary things that might dwell in the shadows. But when the Bible talks about shadows, it sometimes talks about those, but it also has another category of shadow. We read in Psalm 91 that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. God gives shade and shadow to his people. And the picture here is that God is really this, this uh, gigantic eagle, if you will. This is the picture that God is able to bring all of his children under the shadow of his wings and protect them, guard them, and comfort them, drawing them close to him, that you can even hear his heartbeat, that you can even hear his breath when he draws you close. As we read the scriptures that he has breathed out to us, we are comforted by his very presence, the very Holy Spirit who's been placed in our heart. We, our spirit resonates with his spirit and we are comforted under the shadow of his wing. This is a, a, a picture of being protected from either the oppressive heat of the day, of the sinful brokenness of our world that can beat down on us like a hot sun in a desert. And God comforts us, shelters us, draws us close under the shadow and shade of his wing, that we might be rested, that we might be refreshed, that we might be encouraged and comforted for another day. And the great thing about this passage is that it says that he who dwells, the person who chooses and trusts in the Lord to find him as their refuge, will continue to abide in the shadow of the Almighty. So when we turn to the Lord, he will not turn us away. In fact, he will always welcome all those who turn to him. And when we've stayed for a while, he won't turn us out. He won't set an alarm clock after two or three days or weeks and say, okay, that's enough, time to leave. No, he causes us to tarry and stay under the shadow of his wings. In fact, he is constantly calling us to stay there, to abide, to stay connected, to remain close to him, that he might lead us along paths of righteousness for his name's sake. There isn't any ways in, or any times in scripture where he just tells people to, all right, go on, go on your own. You've had enough time. He always is with us, comforting us, calling us to stay under the shadow of his wings as the winds of this world howl around us and seek to sweep us away with different ideologies or being overwhelmed with the brokenness and the events of this world. We are called to remain under the shadow of his wings. And that is my prayer for all of us this week, that we would continue to stay under the shadow and shade of his wings, close to his heart, and be able to say, as the psalmist does, my Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Let us abide together under the shadow of his wings this week. You're loved.